Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Time. Today's movie recap will be a comedy and drama movie from 2015 called The Student and Mr. Henry. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. The movie starts with Henry heading out into the city. He stops to buy a newspaper and picks up some basics from the grocery store before visiting the park. Meanwhile, Constance is getting ready for her driving test. She gets increasingly anxious as she makes a few mistakes and ends up failing for the fifth time. After that, she goes to work at her father's produce stall. Her father expects her to eventually pass the test so she can drive the shop van and manage the stall. However, Constance doesn't want any of that. She dreams of moving to Paris. Later, Constance travels to Paris and visits Henry's apartment. She got his address from Henry's son. Although Henry initially slams the door in her face a few times, he eventually shows her the room he has for rent. Constance finds the room quite cozy and tours the rest of the house. Henry keeps testing Constance and she excels in every challenge. Once finished, Henry shows her out only to see a long line of potential renters waiting. Constance then takes the bus to explore other apartments around the city and leaves her contact information with them. Later, Henry calls her to offer her the room, and she excitedly gets out of bed with Matthew to prepare for her move. She travels to the train station with her luggage, accompanied by her mother and brother who bid her farewell. Upon arriving at Henry's place, he hands her a printed list of house rules and she settles in. After unpacking, Constance overhears Henry complaining about his son Paul's wife, calling her an idiot. Later, Constance tries playing Henry's piano, but Henry gets upset when he finds out she unlocked it and lied about it. He tells her she must leave because he can't trust her, but then he proposes a deal instead. He wants her to help break up his son from his wife, Valerie. Initially reluctant, Constance agrees to try if she can stay rent-free for six months. That evening, she stumbles upon a restaurant looking for a waitress and decides to interview the next day, having a few drinks while there. The next morning, Paul visits, explaining that Henry needs someone to manage his medications and asks Constance to keep an eye on him. When Henry returns, he teases Paul's wife again, causing Paul to leave in anger. Constance begins adapting to her new life, working at the restaurant, spending time with Henry, continuing her university studies, and caring for him. On a Sunday, Paul and Valerie come over for lunch. Constance makes the meal, and while Valerie is quite pleasant and very different from Constance, tensions arise. Constance and Paul end up setting the table together, and she attempts to charm him. However, when they sit down to eat, Henry mocks Valerie again, leading to an argument between Paul and Henry. Soon after, the discussion shifts to when Constance played the piano. To defuse the tension, Henry suggests she play again. As Constance plays, Henry momentarily enjoys the music, but his mood soon turns somber. He leaves, and Paul explains that the song reminds Henry of his late wife. The next day, Constance visits the university and discovers she failed her course. Distraught, she spends the night at a club, drinking away her disappointment, resulting in a severe hangover the next morning. Valerie comes by the next day to retrieve her dish from the lunch, but ends up staying to help Constance after she vomits in it. Constance confides in her about her life falling apart. Henry, trying to offer guidance, suggests that since school isn't working out, Constance might consider pursuing piano playing as a career. Later, Constance plays a new piece for Henry and Valerie, which Henry finds beautiful. When Valerie is leaving, Constance follows her to ask about Henry's wife's death, learning she died after falling out of the apartment window while cleaning. Valerie uses this moment to gauge Constance's feelings towards Paul, ensuring she isn't trying to interfere with their relationship. Constance returns inside and tells Henry that Valerie genuinely loves Paul, but Henry reminds her of their agreement. Constance tells him she won't break them up, and he gives her until Monday to find a new place to live. Unable to find anywhere to stay, Constance visits her parents, finding her room being transformed. To prevent her father from calling her a failure, she lies about passing her exams. Returning to Henry's, she decides to comply with their deal. That night, Henry leaves a flyer for the London School of Music in the mailbox. In the morning, Constance contemplates attending but dismisses the idea, believing dreams never work out for her. Later, Constance goes to the pool to catch Paul's attention, and she succeeds as he can't stop watching her. Paul offers Constance a ride home, and she tries to charm him by discussing his favorite sports teams and poetry. As they talk, Constance attempts to help him mend his relationship with his father, but she soon shifts the conversation to flirt with him again. Paul, clearly attracted to Constance, senses trouble and leaves in a hurry, but not before taking her number. 
Later, when Henry checks on Constance, she confesses she's disgusted with herself, but he reassures her she's doing well. Constance then goes to the club with a co-worker and ends up spending the night with the DJ. The next morning, she receives a romantic text from Paul and she feels disgusted with herself once again. One evening, Paul shows up at the restaurant unexpectedly and tells Constance he wants to spend more time with her. They go to the club after work where Constance feels jealous seeing the DJ with another girl. Afterward, Paul drives Constance home, encouraging her that she's destined for great things despite her doubts. They hug, which leads to a kiss, but Constance stops it, and they part ways. Paul drives off feeling exhilarated by the night's events and sings loudly for the whole city to hear. The next morning, Paul sneaks into his home, but Valerie is waiting for him. He tries to cover up by saying he was at an office party, but Valerie suspects he was somewhere he shouldn't be and leaves him. Distraught, Paul spends the next day trying to contact Constance. Meanwhile, Henry shows Constance that he managed to secure a recommendation for her at the music school, and she thanks him. The following day, Paul visits Constance at work, hoping to take her on a trip, but she tells him she's found someone else her age. This news sends Paul into a downward spiral at work as he seems to lose interest in his work. He later discovers that Valerie contacted his colleague to discuss divorce proceedings. That night, Paul receives a call from Valerie and hurries to his sister's house. The next day, Paul reveals to Henry that Valerie is pregnant. Paul is thrilled, but Henry is less than enthusiastic. Paul warns him to show more happiness at the upcoming lunch where they'll announce the pregnancy or he won't allow Henry to see the baby or them again. Later, Paul shares the news with Constance, who is genuinely delighted. At work, Constance gets a call from her father who confronts her about lying regarding her school exams. By the end of the day, she's drinking and confiding in Henry about her plan to work at her father's stall. Henry, however, prefers she pursue music school and tries to motivate her again. The next day, Constance packs up her belongings, leaving Henry visibly upset. Soon after, Valerie and Paul arrive for lunch to announce the pregnancy, and Henry manages to congratulate Valerie. As she prepares to leave, Constance pops into Henry's room to say goodbye. Henry gives her one last piece of advice about pursuing her true desires. Downstairs, she stands up to her father, telling him she won't return with him, and decides to pursue music instead. He accepts her decision and leaves. Constance returns upstairs, plays the piano, and stays with Henry, working on her music. Eventually, she leaves to the music school in London. Henry wishes her luck as they say their farewells. After two weeks at school, Constance comes back to find Paul packing things up. He explains that after she was accepted into the school and the baby was born, Henry felt he could die peacefully. Constance reveals to Paul that she actually failed her exam and only lied to make Henry happy. She plans to try again next year. Paul hands Constance a letter from Henry. After reading it and receiving a few sentimental items, she visits Henry's grave to say her final goodbyes, finding peace. The movie concludes with a moral about not letting others' expectations prevent you from enjoying life. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care and see you next time.